if you get the same flow with it, then you can go on. But you know, some it, you know somebody said something when I was I just finished secondary school. I wanted to write my jam, and I there was this girl in church who was in the choir. Every I was basically everything in church. I'm in the choir. I'm in the prayer unit, and I do fervent like i'm that kind of girl that your a mother will see and say be like her she is good so this guy i used to talk to him like mentor mentor and i think that that's another strategy they use now they want to mentor you mentor mentor mentee mentee so i was going to meet that brother i want him to be my mentor i will read some verses of the scripture i'll go and meet him i'll download it and tell him that this is what the bible is telling me i know and i'll be like wonderful and then one day he came to meet me that God said, I'm his wife. Guess what? I have not gained admission into university. Wow. I've not even. And then God is saying to you that. And you know what thing that he said that even got me pissed off? He said, I should not, I should not miss the opportunity that God has opened unto me for me to be his wife. But like I said earlier, a strategy to, to deceive ladies. And me, I, I think, thank God I, I grew up with. If I, a father, the, the way I grew up, my father groomed me very well. I, there's this pride. There's, there's a way my father groomed us, especially his girls. He gave us good pride. So when he said that thing, though I just finished secondary school and he was way older than me, I just told him, I said, excuse me, sir, with all due respect, because of what you said, it's a no. So what would you guys advise ladies to do? Basically, I'll tell them all ladies, know what you want know what you want even before you start thinking about marriage know what you want let what you want align with god's will for you so wherever it's coming you have what i call it like a checklist mm -hmm. you use to tick and mark if does this align with my checklist and the checklist god has given me before any other thing if but not we'll, co we'll come back to you later little lady well i think um ladies should be more they should know what they want pray about it even if this guy comes around just take your time, study him out well before you fall into the trap of gossip. Hmm. So, but really, you know, God speaks to some people. We don't. We are not yeah, he, trying to um, um, downtone or make it look like God doesn't say. Mm -hmm. He does. But we're just saying that you have to check it. Okay. You don't listen now and say, "Oh, there's nothing like God said." <coughs> Anybody that comes and says God said, person is lying. No. There's some people that are that have genuine relationship with God and he speaks to them. But you have to also check. God has told you. Mm -hmm. uh, let him let come and tell me. I'll be mm -hmm. simple. So, Lekon, what would you advise uh -oh. ladies and what would you tell those guys that go about doing that nonsense? Right. How we advise the ladies just like she said. If you know what you want, everything will not be what you want. But one thing, now, a picture of the man that you dream to have coming close to you with the taste that you okay. I think you could have actually give that kind of person a shot. Now, don't delay. Mm. Don't delay. Because as it is right now, even the serious sisters that are they are beautiful, they are every, every woman's choice. Now they are lagging behind and they are praying. Make sure four to one. Papa, no <laughs> one pass just to crap up. You understand? Don't delay. Mm. Now, the, 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 don't delay in the sense that just make sure you know what you want. And if this guy is actually serious about it, he will wait. And don't keep him waiting too long. And for the guys, brothers, that you are fond of this pattern, go with cash. Amen. amen. Go with cash. Like, you, you will say amen now. Why not now? And for sisters too, that you are waiting for them to fall, go with cash. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, because you know one thing is, is we are human and this emotion, you know we cannot beat it up. The fact that I'm spiritual doesn't know that if I'm sitting next to you, my body will not move. Hello, hello. Hello, babe. Hello, babe. All right. I'm a filler. Okay, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So check it. Check it before you fall. Pray of these guys. So there's this part, the segment I love so much. It's called Jazz It Up with an Aussie. So behind you, there's a card. There's a card behind you. Pick it up. There we go. Now we're going to open up the trap. Okay. What's there? 
Huh? Who goes first? Um, mm-hmm. <clears throat> I'm thinking about this. I'm going to read out my own. Okay. I don't think I'm going to do this. Why not? <laughs> Say it. The entire car police officer. Yes, sir. Yes, it's cool. Police officer. Yeah. The only thing I know they ask for is trying to narrow Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Ask me that. Um, oh, go, go, go. Yeah, stop, Jess. I've given you. Uh, okay. Show me your particulars. Do I have to stand? You can, you can just sit down and do it. Okay. Um, catch yeah. somebody. Is it me? Is it? Okay, let me use it. Uh, okay. Don't catch him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to be I'll just pack your car there. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, uh, where your particulars? Oh, God. Wait, oh, you're in my life today, on? <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 that's, that's it, that's it, that's it. Okay, so, um, next person. Do a little report. Yeah! Hey, yeah. <coughs> Can we just clap for her? So, uh, uh, she's, uh, uh, she's about to go. Okay, this is it right now with me coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so you can't, you can't rap. Don't don't try. Don't try. Don't try it. Don't, okay. don't try it. It's not your talent. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Do a catwalk. Yeah, this is nice. Walk. Walk oh, wow. Yeah, it is. Walk. Catwalk. Where are you now? Start from here. Walk. Walk. Catwalk now. That's what I'm saying. This is a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Just come back. See, Thank, you. Know you're good, Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sure you really enjoyed this segment and you enjoyed this particular episode of A Stand with Onozasi. Remember to always follow us on all our social media platforms and comment and let's hear from you. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to know what you want to hear, how you want to hear it, and how well this episode has influenced you or has impacted you and remember also to log on to www.ornosacy.com like i always end with nothing is the best it can be there is always 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 that space for growth till i come your way again next month bye for now